everybody. I'm here for day two of our seven days of chakras. So today we're going to talk about the second chakra, which is the sacral chakra. Um, this chakra is located like just below your belly button in the middle of your belly there. Um, and its color is orange. It is um, the chakra that is associated with our emotions, our sensuality, and our creativity. So this is the one that allows you to like feel the world around you. So basically um, anything that you love, um, not just people, but like your pets or food or places, anything that you're feeling um, that you love is tied to your sacral chakra so it's a cool one if you like to be in touch with your emotions and be happy <laughs> um so people that have a very aligned sacral chakra you'll you'll notice um these are people that are very in touch with their emotions they're generally really good at communicating their emotions they have good relationships in their life they will not keep um, very negative people around. These are people that are like moving forward positively always. Um, so it's, uh, you'll be able to tell. They're also generally very artistic and creative and they're really in touch with their fantasies. So um, this is a great chakra that you definitely want to have not blocked and aligned. Um, people that whose sacral chakra is not aligned might notice things like um, very extreme emotional outbursts. So these would be the people that you see just like losing their mind over something that seems really minor. Um, they are, and if it if it's you, if you feel like you're getting like super emotional about things that you normally wouldn't, that you really shouldn't, then you might want to focus on um, opening up your sacral chakra. Um, some other things associated with having um, a blocked or unbalanced sacral chakra would be um, dependency, codependency, um, dependency on other people, dependency on things like um, drugs or alcohol. This is like looking for the, the quick happiness hit. Um, so th those things that make you feel really good in the moment and then maybe down the road they they make you feel not so good so um the sacral chakra when it's blocked or unaligned can cause people to um, have these kind of issues um, also like extreme overindulgence um, is an issue when your sacral chakra isn't aligned um, these are you know, going and like just spending a bunch of money that you don't have because it makes you feel good to be shopping or um, just binge drinking, things like this. Sacral chakra is not aligned and probably you should work on it. So there are things that you can do to help with your sacral chakra alignment. Um, one of them is meditation. Are you guys sensing a theme here? Meditation is good. It's important. You should do it. Um, there's also some yoga poses that help open, open your sacral chakra. Um, there's actually yoga poses for like all your chakras. So if yoga is something that you like to do, this is a good one that you could try. Um, and you can meditate while you're doing yoga. So you get them both out of the way. Um, another one, and I know this is hard, um, but it is important and it is to cut the negative people out of your life. If there are people in your life that are causing you to constantly have negative emotions that um, are causing you to feel like you're not um, in control of your emotions when you're around them or after you've been around them, these people are toxic. They should not be in your life. You should remove them. And I know that it's easy to say it. It's not as easy to do it. I totally get it. Um, but this is something that if you're having issues with your sacral chakra, if you're having issues in general, like just in general, if you have toxic people in your life, you need to seriously consider um, cutting them out and uh, moving forward 
on a more positive foot because it's it's just it's not good just long run it's not good to have like toxic people in your life um so another great thing that you can do is um tell yourself positive affirmations you need to be giving yourself positive affirmations every day and like aside from the chakras you should be doing this every day regardless um, it will turn your whole way of thinking around. If you're getting up in the morning and telling yourself something positive, you're going to feel better. Your day is going to start off better. And, um, and anything that's been like weighing on you, any kind of negative things are going to get better too. So positive affirmations, very important. Um, also being around water because sacral chakra is, um, a water chakra so if you are around water running water go to the beach have a nice hot bath that can help too um, and there are some scents that are associated with it too so if you're um, meditating or you're into essential oils or candles and you want to um, work on your sacral chakra you might consider um, getting orange scented things or rose scented things those are two of the scents that are associated with um, uh, the sacral chakra and crystals um, so there's some there's there's a lot of crystals for all the chakras really but um, I'll list a couple here so um, orange calcite um, amber is a good one citrine I love citrine um, tiger's eye is another really good one and that's really cool to look at too and uh, moonstone so I love moonstone um, and the reason that moonstone is good for the sacral chakra is because of its association with the moon and water um, but generally speaking when you um, are dealing with your chakras the stones if the stones are the color of the chakra they're usually good for that one so it's kind of easy you can kind of match them all up um, but yeah that's kind of the uh, sacral chakra in a nutshell and uh, yeah if you have any questions um, let me know and otherwise I'll be back tomorrow for day three and we will talk about um, the third chakra which is a neat one too. they're all kind of neat um but my favorite is the crown chakra so um so yeah i guess i'll talk to you guys tomorrow let me know if you have any questions or any additional information that you want to share and otherwise i will talk to you tomorrow with your third chakra information video okay thanks guys bye